Okay, <clears throat> let's get started. Uh, so, markets are open. It's the Thursday, the 18th of January. It's uh, 10 to 9. <clears throat> the, uh, the open and prints are on the table. So we've traded the first 30 minutes. No change from DPU. Boom. Photo me. On the beach. Uh, it's quite uh, quite a nice reversal on that level there. So we're uh, we've opened above this one day range. Fairly positive. Bowl, yeah. Right near all time highs. CML, just flagging out of it. Cake, coming in slightly. EQM. Hovering around, my stops down here. Swing trade. RFX, fine. Uh, it's got X dividend today. So there'll be a 2.2 pence per share dividend to add to the account. FLTA, come back in slightly. Gym group, the inside day forming. You often find that it's had a strong day, it'll come back in on itself, all fine. So, just looking at the portfolio, uh, I've added two new items. So, this is the live profit total. So, the account now stands at 108.352. And this is the all time high, 108.781. So, you can see that. Roughly £500 off all time highs. Uh, one other thing to note is there was a trade. There's a, I've got a dollar account for US trades. There was a US trade missed off the account. So I've just uh, put the US trade on. So that's uh, applied materials and um, <coughs> they make. Uh, a lot of the clever parts of what's going into things like artificial intelligence and some of your mobile technologies for people like Apple and Android and uh, Google. So I'm just going to explain uh, one or two things. Uh, a few people have asked about books, so I'll do a short video tomorrow about what books I suggest you read. Just going back to the markets. We have a quick look at what's going on around the world. <clears throat> we can see that the FTSE has come out of a consolidation period and now it's coming back in, it's fine. FTSE 350 done the same. 250, see we've made higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, it's all fine. Small caps, got a really good run up. Now coming back in, it's all fine. DAX, fine. A bit of a sell off in this region. It's consolidating, it's fine. CAC, is it for, is it topping out? Hmm, not sure. Certainly in a range. S and P, just look how strong the S and P has been. Uh, give you some understanding. This is where Trump came to power, and everybody said that the world was going to go to a basket in a hand case. And I'm not a Trump fan, uh, but it just underlines the fact that when everybody's feeling the worst, this is the kind of reaction you get in the opposite direction. 
So you've heard me say before, conventional wisdom is nearly always wrong. And now you know why. Uh, because there's money to be made out of that phrase. NASDAQ, hugely bullish. Hughes, bullish. Dow Jones, bullish. Although we're hugely extended in these regions. Uh, the time to get involved was like down here. Uh, up here, you know, you're almost like Wiley Coyote running off the side of the mountain. Transports, hugely bullish. WTI, which is your oil price. If we go back and look, we had this big top in action between 12 and 14, made a low high, and then we sold off, we had a big sell off in a deflationary period, and we've come out of that quite strongly. So, oil bullish, which is obviously pro inflationary. Nikkei bullish, Hang Seng bullish, China bullish. What else can we look at? Gold. Gold can't quite make its mind up. Um, still trying to decide what to do. Guilt, if we look at uh, two and tens, you can see that uh, the short end of the US Treasury market is bullish. Uh, the 10 year is fascinating, let me show you why. Look at that downtrend from 95. Uh, and we're testing the upper limits of that downtrend now. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. It could well just roll back over and we continue in the downtrend. Uh, if it breaks out, that is significant for all markets. So we don't try and predict, we just wait and watch. So that's it for today. Any questions, drop them in the comments boxes and uh, I'll add answer directly or stick it in a video.